Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, today, I was going to post a review video for the Game Sir G3S. This is the wireless version. There's also a wired version as well. And uh, this is the wireless. Both links in the description below. And uh, rather than doing a pre recorded video, I was just going to freestyle this. And uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, we're going to see if we can handle a freestyle review for the audience. Here we go. Ready? All right, there's that. Freestyle and go. Here's the box. The box is very pretty. Pull down the latch on the box, and uh, you open it up. This is what you're going to find. You have a little instruction manual, which is important because you do have to press different buttons and the power button to go between uh, Android or Windows or PlayStation 3. Uh, you can't see it, but that's the 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, USB chip. So this controller has three methods of connection. One is you can do it wired. You can't actually wire this up. Two is that 2.4 gigahertz connector, or it is also Bluetooth. So you have three different options on connecting this thing. It does come with a dual micro uh, USB, a little, like, I don't know, it's like a foot long cable. And uh, that's really for A, charging, and B, also the clip that you're going to see in just a moment. There's the actual controller. And when you lift up the plastic there, you're going to find this little clip. Now, it looks funny at first you're like what the heck is that and as you can see here I was like stumbling around figuring out what the heck how do you put this on I was like well you can't slide it in that way and you know me I don't really read the directions I'm kind of like I should be able to figure this out right so I found out that those two screws in the middle there loosen up and you can t you can undo that hatch there there's a little clip that clips onto the front you can still get to all your buttons. It didn't clip that first time. You can still get to all your buttons, the turbo button, the start button, the, the center the hotkey button. You can even still connect the micro USB to the back, which you'll see in a second there. It was a little weird for me to clip. You kind of got to hold down the click clipper and do it. It doesn't just automatically click in. But once it was in there, it was a, it was a good hold. And uh, this is so you could use this controller with any phone. And so you can see there it stretches open. You might even be able to fit like a little... Uh, a little small tablet, like maybe an, uh, an Apple Mini. But as you can see, it doesn't go much. I'd say like a six or seven inch screen is probably tops. You can Google what it is, but I'd say six inches wide. And then you just tighten those things there. You can do different angles on how you want your screen angled. And uh, it's similar to like a DJI, I have a drone. So this is a similar setup to like you would have on a, on a drone controller. Um, it would just go from your cell phone. And then if you look, when I turn this over, so there, it's very, it's very good, and it's good. But see, on the back, you could see that there's the micro SD slot that you can still get into. So you could just go USB to USB, so your phone can have a wired connection, um, or you could go wireless and go Bluetooth. Uh, most modern phones have a Bluetooth, and you would just Bluetooth into the. Um, into the controller. Now, uh, something you're not going to see here with the video, but is the weight of the controller. This is now my favorite weight of a controller. The um, F310 was a little too light for me. The F710 is a little on the heavier side. I'd say medium heavy, where this controller weight-wise is great. The grips are, as you can see here, are awesome. It does have dual shock controllers, so you're gonna get that vibration. Uh, what you're seeing now on the screen is the, um, once it focuses, you can see that it tells you whether it's on a Macintosh, Windows, or Android. And then the X button, I believe, is like con connectivity because uh, you could see, um, you can see mine are lit up right now and I have it connected to my Pi. You can see the buttons there. It does have a turbo button, a clear button. Um, it has dual analog sticks. Uh, one of the things I really like about the analog sticks is they're smooth in the middle and then the rib, they're kind of ribbed on the outside where the F710, it's kind of more like a dog's nose type of material, which I think is pretty common on the, um, it tells you there the shortcuts to connect it on the back of the controller. But this is similar to like a dog nose in that it's kind of rough. They're not killing dogs, don't worry. But uh, it's kind of got that dog nose feel to it. But also this, this directional pad has those sideways directions. This one is a, so back to the analog sticks, it's ribbed around the sides, but it's smooth in the middle, as you see on the screen as well. And then the analog, the actual up, down, left, right, oh, it also has backlit keys. So you can see there, backlit X, A, B, Y keys and the center button. Those are the only ones that light up. But back on the uh, regular gamepad, it's a floating gamepad and it doesn't have those diagonals. So it just feels really good and you have a lot of precision 
uh, on this gamepad. Um, a couple other things about it that maybe I forgot to mention. Oh, it is a built-in battery, so it's unlike the F710. The F710, uh, we could just watch that video again while I finish up here. Unlike the F710, the um, where it has its own, um, the F710 has its own batteries. You could put, it takes double A batteries in the back, uh, which this one has its own built-in battery. Now the cons to that is if it breaks, you know, you might just have to buy a new controller. But with battery technology right now, I really think you're going to get a couple years out of this, no problem. But you can't easily replace it. But the pro to that is now you have a lighter controller. Those two double A batteries add some weight to this, and that kind of is part of the reason why this one's kind of heavier. So for those reasons, it's a pro con. I wouldn't I wouldn't trip too much about the battery. It says it gets about 18 hours of battery life on a charge, and it charges pretty quick from my experience. Um, it does have I don't a 32-bit high-speed MCU chip, high sensitivity, and high, and fast time response. Uh, we're gonna play some games in a second there, and we'll we'll check that out. Um, as far as platform is Android, Windows, PS3. I'm sorry, it doesn't. I'm not sure if it works for Mac or not. Um, and then lastly, if you scan the QR code on the back of the instruction manual, you get a free game called Happy Chick. I have yet to check it out, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it's good. Um, this is right now, there's a link in the description, I believe it's $29.99, really good price for the wireless and everything else, but there's a wired version of this, if you don't want wireless, I'd go for the wired one, right now it's on sale, it's like $16.99, so that link is in the description as well, and that one is the uh, G3W, uh, so W stands for wired, the G3S I guess the S means special. I don't know what the S stands for. Maybe you guys know, but it is special. It is a little higher end, the one I'm working on right now. Um, it is a PS3 style controller, same kind of configuration with the triggers um, and everything else. It has four stars on Amazon, a lot of really good reviews. So this is a good one. I can, I can say it's recommended. I already played some games on it. I played some Shinobi for arcade and some um, Sonic on the, um, let's switch over here. And some Sonic on the, um, I played some Sonic CD on a previous stream. If you go back to my video history a couple, you will, um, you will see it. So I want to start this video off with a review. Let's get into a game here. And then once we get into a game, we could, um, we could start this chat out. So here I am on the controller now. As you can see, I'm moving the controller back and forth. Uh, let's play, I want to play a Nintendo 64 game. I really like Mario Kart. Um, but I think there's Mickey's Mickey's is on here too. So, oh, I would say this is one other thing that this is one thing that does bother me about this controller. Now, I don't know if you could see this. Let's see what, if I can get it right. Okay. So at the top here, oh, I was trying to remove it, but, um, the, that start that select and that start, and then that's clear. And then that's turbo. I wish that those were swapped because my thumbs naturally go to the turbo. So I guess that's good if you're, I don't put turbo on very much. So if you want easy access to turbo, it's great. But since I'm on uh, emulation station, I want quick access to start select. But then again, now that I think about it, I actually don't want super quick because if it's too quick, I'm going to exit out of games when I'm in the middle of them. <laughs> so that's not good. But at the same time, I find when I do, I did just something that was a little that I caught was when I was exiting a game on, uh, after I was playing a game like on my last stream, I kept pressing the turbo. I'm like, why isn't this working? Why? And I'm like, oh, I'm hitting the turbo button, not the start select. So that's just my goof. I mean, I'm sure you guys aren't as, uh, I, I, I sometimes require a little more time than most. So, um, I believe it's Mick. What's the Mickey racing game? Let's play that. That way we don't get any, uh, we don't get Nintendo on us over here. Mickey Speedway. Let me know how the sound is. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. It should Actually, no, it's going to be good because um, I'm actually going to higher the sound a little bit because uh, I've been doing those. Um, this show has no name, but we interview cool people. Or let me know how the sound is right now. I've been doing that interview show, so I want to make sure that, I mean, how bad, you guys would never forgive me, right, if I, uh, if I had a, um, my show and you couldn't hear the, the person I was interviewing over my, uh, over the sound volume. See, this is really loud in my ears. 
All right. Who we got in here? Paps. What's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Apple Device Pro. Good to see you, man. I'm glad you're in here. I bought a Steel Series Stratus. Was like 50 bucks, and the lag on the Bluetooth was so bad I never used it again. Bought it to play Binding of Isaac on my iPhone 7. Oh, nice. I so I haven't tested this on a phone yet, but um, you know, I hope to. This game also has a rumble pack, so I'm hoping that I can I can feel this vibration. See what that's like. Let me know how the sound is, please. Uh, what's up, Bubs Garcia? Not much, man. Samuel J. What's up? Uh, sequel to Titty Click. Yeah, Titty Clicker. It's Titty Clicker, guys. Um, I'm like, see, I like Goofy as a person, but let's look at these stats here. See, Minnie though, she's lightweight. Top speed is kind of lacking though. Where Donald Duck is just a middle of the road type of guy. You know, I always kind of took Donald Duck as kind of a vanilla guy. So this makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I got the Stratus XL. It was only really good for Fire Stick or Android. Like not a good choice for Retro Pie. Okay, so don't do the Stratus. It sounds like from my viewers. Um, I'm sure the Stratus works good on other games, but Binding, oh, it didn't work out very well. Hmm. Inatio, what's up? RW Prime, what's up, man? Uh, sound is fine. Thank you, three cops on for the update. Yeah, so the sound, uh, it all depends. Amateur, what do I have? I'm amateur. So I have uh, track troubles. Track troubles. Motorway mania. Freeway phobia. Time trial. Practice. Contest options. Traffic troubles. Let's try um, motorway mania. I feel like that's like if we. That's like battle. Freeway phobia. Let's try it with this. You know, I don't think I've ever messed with some of these. I always played the first one. Okay, now intermediate and let's go intermediate and get wrecked. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of hate for Donald Duck. So I want to play this game because I get to use my analog sticks here. And like I said, they're ribbed analog sticks. And uh, so the middle actually feels really nice and smooth, but like the edges of them are, are ribbed. So if you like, lose your finger movement okay there we go okay that's break that's look behind me look at him he's such a smiling dude oh, okay there we go so back trigger is um the back trigger is to use your weapon we got jump look at that nos he got what do you guys know about donald duck and his nos so we got a baseball now let's see what the baseball does so baseballs do not follow them. It's not like a red shell. Baseballs equal green shell, okay? Now what does this do? I think I just get a couple credits. Yay, I got three coins. Scrooge McDuck, I think he steals. Oh, it's like a random thing. I'm imagining that I can hit myself with these balls, so I probably don't want to. Sixth place, yes! All right, so uh, N64 is good. It did not vibrate in that game at all. Um, I believe Wave Race has a lot of vibration. I don't know if this one is overclocked or not. I lose track of, <laughs> of which ones are or not, but this, is, this should still run. Yes, yes, Samuel, you are correct. <laughs> Um, so I want to check out the, uh, I just want to check out some analog games on here really quick. Oh, I have my res down a little bit on this one. So as you can see, it's super responsive. I can get in and out of these menus really easy. So the sound is going to be a little weird on this game. Somebody asked me about my N64 sound. I mean, that really depends on the, on the game you're playing. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Jay. How is the... Click, how is the button uh, sound? So, I mean, here I am using the analog stick back and forth, clickety clacketing buttons, and uh, you can see in my previous stream, I kind of started to do that. I think I gotta run into something, right, for this to vibrate. I just wanted to check out the vibration. I think maybe I go up a jump. Um, so this, this is a much quieter controller as well. Okay, I've yet to get any vibration out of this thing. I, 
I wonder if I have to turn on the vibration. What do you guys think? Do I have to turn it on? Give me a second here. Let me grab this. That N64 emulation. Yeah, I know. It's so clutch. So it works for Android, Smart TV, TV Box, PC platform, PlayStation 3. It's got auto reconnect. Oh, it doesn't even, so I guess it's automatic. The, the instruction manual is actually only four pages. The other like 20 pages are other languages. So uh, there's actually only like four pages for. Uh... Oh, here's your, here's your specs in the instruction manual. It's um, charging time is two to three hours. Working distance, so it'll work up to seven meters. Net weight is 189 grams. It'll work in temperatures between 20, negative 20 degrees Celsius, and 65 degrees. It does have a sleeping function. Okay. Doesn't have anything... Um, Okay. Turbo, possible funding. Okay. All right, so it should be vibrating. Let's try a PlayStation game. Sometimes the PlayStation games will vibrate. But, I mean, if you are using those the PS3, uh, you know, those DualShock controllers, I believe this will work no problem. Uh, I, I don't think on this particular image, I don't know if cla crash racing works or not. Oh, it worked. Nice. Start your engines for a Sony computer. Watching from work, Joe. I mean, it is Friday. Like, who, you know, most people are done working on Friday by 1 p.m. anyways. So now I'm on a PS3 controller playing PlayStation. So we're on the controller that was meant for it. I think it just crashed. We crashed on crash. Yeah, I don't think it likes that uh, ROM. This is just on this particular... Um, Ah, Tony Hawk does. I'm going to mute the volume, though, on the, uh, just because Tony Hawk has all that, uh, that music. Make sure you can still see me, hear me. If you can't hear me, let me know. Should be fine. I think I just muted the, uh. No, usually it's standard. Tony Hawk. So if anybody hasn't seen it yet, go check out my arcade in Starbucks series. Uh, not a series. It's one video. And uh, that was like, well, I don't want to give it away, but that was, um, that was actually supposed to be part of another video I was actually working on. And, uh, and so, but I thought it was so good. And it was really good that it ended up being its own standalone video. Um, but that was crazy. That was crazy. That was that was a one take wonder. Um, we were like really worried that like, you know, they would say something if I crash, right? Okay. And uh, anyway, so we go and like nothing. The only people in that video that knew what was going on was me and uh, and my brother. Like it seemed like like Starbucks was really cool about it. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what my controls are here, so I'm kind of figuring those out.
Yeah, thanks, guys. So, like I said, watch it if you haven't watched it, and if you could share it, like sh if you, any of you are belong to a forum or you're um, part of a group, or just share it on your own social media, like on your Facebook. You know, I'm sure your parents or like you know your friends will get a kick out of it, and it really helps you know me get that stuff out into the world because I think the more people that watch it, because even like my mom watched it and she was cracking up. And like she doesn't find that kind of stuff funny at all, and uh, so if you guys could, I just would like it to be shared if possible because it, it did. Although it was like a a whim of the moment, like it took us a lot of work to to schedule it with my with uh, my brother's schedule, and then um, get it all to work out, you know, with not getting kicked out, and then being finding those kids. Those kids just happen to be in there. It still isn't vibrating, by the way. Um, I think it might be something else. Um, It's playing Papa Roach right now. You guys know about that Papa Roach? Um, I'm going to get out of here. All right, Samuel, later. Um, so anyways, if you guys could, I would very much appreciate it uh, if you could share it because uh, that's how more people are going to see it and then those people share it. And so I really think it's one of those videos that, you know, I think whether you like retro gaming or not, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So back like I couldn't have the kids coming in. That guy when I walked in, like he was actually so just the way the movie went was he was there, um, he was there when we were leaving, and he was like just walking in. He the guy in the beginning who's like NBA Jam, he's on fire. That guy, uh, like he was unscripted. We didn't know the guy. We were on our way out. We were just done shooting the video, and uh, he totally made that video. Um, and uh, he was seriously stoked. And uh, what you didn't see on camera is he was like, he was like, really? He was like really excited about it that you didn't see. We didn't get the camera out soon enough. And then uh, he was telling me how he's got a little kid, and his kid, he was showing his kid how to play. Um, Mike Tyson super punch out. He's like, yeah, my kid plays Xbox and he's, you know, he's on Xbox Live and stuff. And I was showing him, you know, Mike Tyson's and he, you know, he would lose after like the first level and he'd like quit it. I'm like, I'm trying to teach him, you know, I'm trying to teach him that this is the game. It was hella funny. And uh, so that part wasn't on camera. There's a lot you didn't see. But anyways, that guy just happened to be, he's the guy that changes out the uniforms for the Starbucks. He worked for like Sintas or whatever that company is that the, that companies do contracts with. And uh, he just happened to be there at the right time. How about we play some uh, Killer Instinct? I'm really bad at it, but I know it's a good game. Uh, let me turn back on the volume here as well. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, so that guy, that was on the way out, but the way I re-edited the video is he was on the way in there because I mean that, that whole interaction was so prime. So everything about that, that movie was serendipitous. It was, it was the only plan we had was like, how do we get this through the door and not like have him like, what the, what do you get out of here? Get out. You know, like I was really worried that that was going to happen. So, um, that didn't happen, unfortunately. And um, those kids were there with their mom for some reason, and they were kind of like looking or like what you didn't see before. We before I asked them if they wanted to play, they were like looking around. And uh, I remember one of these guys, Cinder, I think it is. I know you got to do combos and stuff. I'm gonna suck at this, just so you know the game. Uh, but those kids were like watching around, and like you can hear them in the back, like when we were when I was loading up the games. Uh, they're like, oh, they got Mario. They got Mario. And then when they came over, you guys heard, you guys heard it say, they're like, oh, do you have Mario? <laughs> and uh, so we eventually invited them over. Oh, yeah, she's the one that has all the combos. Like, everyone has her little, like, fist combos. Um, and we let them play. And they played for a long time. I had to, like, butt in there. Oh. Ooh. That, see, that's what I'm talking about. You want to do these little fast things? Anyways, their mom was like, your food's ready, you guys gotta, you know, they got to level three of Ninja Turtles, if that gives you some sort of, uh, you know, how long they were playing for. But it was cool. It was really cool. That was a good combo. There we go. Do a little triple. There we go. Now it's even. Even game. Um, and then the other really, yeah, it was, it was fun. The whole thing was really fun. But uh, back to the main point, it wasn't a quick video. 
you know, it probably took editing took like three or four hours because I had so much footage and uh, I just wanted to pick the best stuff and I want to keep it at three minutes. So like most people could sit through it and uh, not get bored. Like you probably can you can watch it from beginning to end and not get bored. So there's a lot that was put into it between editing, shooting. So it was like a good eight to 12 hour production. So I hope you guys enjoy that because uh, it took a lot of time. So share it, please, if I haven't convinced you yet. Please, please, please. Uh, this, this whole week has actually been really good for videos um, because a lot of things fell into place. Like that whole, the show that has no name was, um, was great. You know, all my guests so far have been great. Mad Little Pixel is coming up. I have his pre-recorded. Um, I'm finding though, I don't want to, I don't want to give you guys like, you know, every day give you another interview. I think I got to like mix it up, you know, that way uh, there's a, you know, we have some reviews, we have some like funny videos. Um, and then we have the, the talk show, you know, I'm just trying to mix up my content. You know, I'm still going to do uh, Raspberry Pi stuff and gaming and stuff like that. But uh, give, you know, give you guys a mix. And j so I'm also going to warn you guys that, you know, some of my content you're not going to like. Like, I will be posting a drone video this weekend. And as I told you guys in a previous stream, I'm going to keep my videos that I know that most people don't like on the weekends. So um, back to the content, I'm trying to mix it up. And uh, I have the beer challenge. We got the inner the, the 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 show that has no name and a bunch of other stuff. So I hope you're enjoying it. Please give me some feedback. I mean, I appreciate it all. Like somebody today told me that this mic sucks. I know it sucks. Um, I actually have one that I I'm gonna use on the next one. So hopefully that gets improved. This mic right here. Um, I'm gonna let this guy kick kick me up. But uh, I wanted to read some of these comments that you guys are leaving. Thank you. Um, if I had a 256 gigabyte SD card, what would I fill it with? I would probably fill it with PlayStation games just because I have all the other ones. Like the only the only systems that are that that people tend not to put on emulation is like PlayStation uh, and then maybe when the when the when like better single board computers come out, like PlayStation 2 is really going to take up a lot of space. But I really don't I mean I don't want to say really because SD cards have come a long way. But uh, from going from 200 to 256 isn't a big deal. I think it, what's going to be a big deal is when we have like terabyte cards, which you know are probably within the next couple years are going to be feasible. And then when you're talking, then, you, then now you're talking like really epic PlayStation collections, which uh, which I think could be a game changer. Have you got Cool Borders 2? I'm not sure or G Police. I don't know. Let's check. Let's check it out. Uh, I, I usually get vibration on the Xbox 360. I do. Um, but this is a PS3 style controller. So I don't know if it's something that's in RetroArch or how that's all programmed. But I bet I can I can fix it, I'm sure. I just not that big of a deal for me. It does have the vibration. It's just a matter of configuring it up. So Cool Borders 2. I don't think I have it on this one. Or what was the other game? Cool Borders or Cool Borders 2 or G Police. Nope. And nope. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I do have Gran Turismo. Thank you, Grant. Appreciate it. I'm in my 321. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I started collecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic books around issue 6. Nice. Are they worth anything now? Um. What's up, Thy Thiep? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I bought him lunch. No. No, but the only thing uh, the only thing I had to give uh, my brother, I bought him a coffee. I was like, hey, come record for me. I'll buy you a coffee. Uh, do kids nowadays know the Turtles? See, I think they did. They, they did. Not, they, I asked them. I was like, oh, have you ever played this game before? They said no. So these little kids had never heard of the Ninja Turtles arcade game before. But uh, they did... For some reason, I'm in a Super Nintendo mood. Um, but they did like know of Ninja Turtles. They just did not know about the the game, that particular arcade game, which is a classic. I was gonna play The Simpsons for them, but then I was like, yeah, I, I used The Simpsons in a previous video of mine. I don't want to outplay the game, even though it's a great game, super great game. 
Michael Jordan. Mickey Mania. Mike Machines 1 and 2, great games. Mr. Nuts. Maybe we got to play a game of, of... Maybe we should play NBA Jam not only for... Not only for the guy in my video, but today's anybody who watches, uh, I only watch the, the playoffs usually in basketball, but then again, it's also like my team is in the playoffs right now, Golden State Warriors. So tonight's the last game. And, uh, and so, uh, don't get away from a mic that's not on your headset auto jobs when you turn away. No, I know. I'm going to get a, keep it on a headset. Yeah, in the RTG interview, I was not using. I was just using my uh, my mic that's built into my um, my camera, so that was why. So, anyways, back to basketball. Um, head to head. <coughs> so, um, the Warriors. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sure. Jam. Uh, the Warriors are in the uh, playoffs, so if they win today, tonight at 6 p.m., I don't know, PST, I imagine? It's PST for me, so maybe it's different per time zone. Uh, I guess we got to be the Warriors because they're... So anyways, they're... Um... Let's go... Yeah, let's do this. No, I want that guy. Okay. If they win tonight, they played a, a flawless playoffs. So they played 16 games perfectly. Right now they're 15 and 0. So that it's four games per team. So they've already beaten three teams perfectly, and they are now—is this me? Or, okay, no, that's me. <laughs> oh, get that out of there! Oh, the top ones make you run. That's right. Three. What? Goaltending, my. Anyway, so if they win this, it's they're up three to zero right now. It's crazy. Shoot it. There we go. Uh, they would be. I don't know what the what the record is on that. Um. But uh, they would go undefeated. That's pretty impressive. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think they're gonna win it? Pass, pass. Where's pass? There's pass. Nice. Let's hope they win. So we got some Warriors fans in here. Yeah, I'm not trying to spend any money on my um. What? My uh, my brother actually has an old pair of Razer headphones. He said they don't fit very good. Like they they hurt it. Wow, he's really bad at threes. Uh, he's um gonna give me his old Razer. He just said it doesn't feel very good on his um on his head. So free headset i might on, i'm gonna use that on the next game show i should have used it today but i was kind of i wanted to get this video up and i should stop shooting threes this guy does not have a good three. Oh man we let them freaking wide open what's the score eight okay we got this what And we are doing bad. We got 13 seconds. Here we go. Dunk it. Dunk it. What? Thank you. Three seconds. Shoot that. All right. Low scoring game. Low scoring game. All right, guys. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video. So as you can see, this plays Super Nintendo, um, PlayStation, N64, all the great games. It has that little cradle on it that if you want to put it on an Android phone or, a, or a, any smartphone, it does connect via Bluetooth. Um, I do have the wire. Right now, I'm connected on the 2.4 gigahertz wireless fob and uh, seven meters distance on this thing. Not too shabby. Built-in battery. I'm loving it as far as weight. It's quiet. It really is a really nice controller for the price point. I think it does beat this. Uh, unless you want something a little heavier or if you want like, you know, something. Yeah, I would say that the weight is really the biggest draw to me on, on this one. 
uh, and then the removable batteries. But another great controller, this was brought to me by some of the people in my comment section. They're like, you know, you got to review this controller, you got to review it. If this is a little pricey for you, they make a wired version for only $17, which might be one of, you know, I might order one of those just because that's a better deal than the Xbox 360 controller. And it has all these really nice, you know, like the analog sticks and then this really good D pad right here. So for those reasons, um, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. Check it out if you're interested. There's links in the description. And uh, like always, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you can. And we're gonna see you on the next one. But before we see you on the next one, uh, three, two, one, Destiny. Good to see you in here. Paps, good to see you in here. Grant, thanks for coming by. Joe, even though you're at work, thank you. RW Prime, man, it's a pleasure as always. With me, Penguin, Am Sudpol, thank you, and I appreciate that you are a good watcher on my videos, and you don't you catch all my mistakes which I appreciate because it just makes me have to be more on my game. So thank you. Mad Low Pixel, thanks for stopping by. Old Sammy Old, thanks for stopping by. Ty Thep, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, Samuel Meadows, thanks for stopping by. Hyundai Deng, thank you. Uh, does this controller have a dongle? Yes, it does. 24 gigahertz dongle, it also does Bluetooth. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Oh, three cops on 25 donuts. Jay Canuck. And Ignacio and Bubs Garcia. Thank you all. Oh, an Apple device pro. So to top that off, I hope you enjoyed today. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. I've got this weekend, I've got the beer challenge. I've got a review video and I've got a drone video coming up over the weekend. And then next week we got the interview with Mad Little Pixel uh, amongst other videos planned. So stay tuned for that. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the little bell. If you hit the bell next to subscribe, you'll get a notification anytime I do post a new video. So you can be one of the first ones to see it. You could be part of the notification fam where basically you get to be the one that says first if you want. There seems to be some sort of competition going on. I don't know what people are winning, but uh, maybe I'll consider that with the giveaway. Uh, speaking of giveaways, I am, like I said, I am going to do giveaway. I just want to wait until I get to some sort of milestone. Uh, I mentioned in previous ones that maybe I'll do a 500 video giveaway, which I think I'm at like right now. 500 videos live so uh stay tuned for that it's a 8 bit controllers some snes controllers a bunch of little controllers um that i will be giving away so with that see you later peace